Okay, let me. Okay, okay, so, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So you have not one switchboard in a big office. You have a lot of switchboards. So in order for that to work, mm -hmm. your telephone has to appear on a lot of switchboards at the same time, all in parallel. Right. So now somebody wants to call, talk to this guy. Oh, so if I'm, so I'm, you're saying if I'm calling from fifty one, it would ring on a, all all of theirs, and somebody would pick the pick it up then. Yeah, that's right. And then or, once, or, they, once... Well, yeah, the other, think of it more of in the other direction. Is that what if somebody calls you, somebody on that who, uh -huh. who, this person here, has an active telephone wants to call you, they have to be able to reach your phone. So, unlike in the in the local exchange, mm -hmm. on these big switchboards, your uh, each telephone would appear in front of multiple operators, and then the first one who was not busy would handle it and mm -hmm. handle the call. Mm -hmm. All right. So now you have the problem if if your jack appears in multiple places, what prevents two people from plugging in at the same time? And that's what the sleeve circuit does. Because when I plug into one of these, the relay operates and it puts a ground on the sleeve. Now the operator, before she plugs in, is going to go like this with the tip. And if she hears a click, she knows that's a busy line. She won't plug in. And that's how you kept people from, you know, connecting multiple circuits together. Are you used enough? A bit, yes. So, just to recap. Yeah. I'm in room 51. Right. Call comes in, this this thing lights up? No, this is a light bulb. This the, is a light bulb right there. Oh, this light bulb. Yeah, okay. Yeah. This light bulb lights up, yeah. saying, oh, call's coming in. Right. Miss, Miss, nice, Miss, Miss Nice Lady takes, yeah. the, takes the thing. Right. Goes into here. Right. And now, how does she hear? Well, she puts this thing on, right? Here's the ear. Uh -huh. Listen here, talk there. I don't okay. Know, like that. Then she, she operates this switch. I guess she pulls it out, mm -hmm. and now she's in in the circuit, mm -hmm. and she can talk to you, mm -hmm. find out who you want to call. So then she plugs into the other, who's, side of your pair the, other pair, the other pair of this wire. Oh, so this is so uh, so this is in the same building. Let's for instance, this is this would be the same building to go outside. You now, does that truck. actually ever happen? Like, let's say I wanted to actually sure. talk to somebody in the same building. Oh, oh that's if it's an office. In, in that's an if it's office, an office, but not a time. hotel. That's kind of weird, right? Mm. I've done that. <laughs> Practical use for this. Yeah, call another room. Call another room in a very the, small town. Oh, you can call now. You could, oh, this you would be connecting to a small the, town, call, I guess? You can yeah, call you're the room. traveling with a bunch of yeah. you call the room. associates. Call the, rest, call, call the restaurant and say, send up a Coca Cola. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Room that. service or something, like the kitchen or something, right? So, anyway, she plugs into whoever it is that they want to call. Now, she can ring that phone. Can she hear between the two of them? Yes, she can. And when the other person picks up, she can hear the whole conversation. Between the two. And she can, yes. And if she doesn't disconnect, she can hear the whole conversation. And that was a problem. Because when things were not too busy, telephone operators would just eavesdrop on everybody. <laughs> That's how gossip spreads. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they would all sit around gossiping. Yeah, yeah. They, they looked like that. And they were, <laughs> yeah. and they were small private companies in small towns that were connected in to the circuit, but they would be, uh, instead of a small town, and had one operator, and the operator would have a switchboard in their home. Yeah. And uh, the, uh, uh, and, and they would do the same thing. Sometimes uh, I, I had relatives in a small town, and two spinsters ran a telephone company, a switchboard in a front, uh, of uh, entryway of their house, and somebody had to respond to us to the switchboard. I I called these the, my my aunt, and uh, I got the call put through. And I'm talking to my aunt, and uh, she says, uh, "Well, we're having dinner over at the Browns." I says, "Oh, I thought you were at home." And uh, uh, what happened was. The switchboard operator, instead of ringing the home phone, she knew that she was visiting another person <laughs> and put the call through to her there. So these two Spencers knew everything that was going on in the yeah. town. So in 19, around 1960, I'm driving across the country and I'm in Arizona, some damn place like that, and I want to make a long distance call. So we stopped in a little town, I can see there's a payphone there. So we, I parked by the thing and I'm about to make a call 
And this lady comes out and she says, oh, oh, that phone doesn't work very well. I'm the operator, follow me. And this was her house. So we go into her house, through the living room, through the kitchen. And she says, here, sit at, sit at the switchboard and make the call from here. It'll work a lot better. <laughs> and you didn't have to pay for it. She was the whole telephone company. Just talking about work from home, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is interesting. You remember Lily Thompson? Yes, I do. That's, I, just, I like that picture there. And that's the that's same the switchboard. Was it that they, oh yeah, yeah okay. Wow. I forget what her name was in the, the character name. Oh, that was uh, um, uh, it, It's one of those ones I should know, and I know I've heard it millions of times. Oh, <laughs> 